Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We have started a new series about movies reviews, in which we will tell you about a movie that's good and bad in this movie. Today we will talk about Tim Burton's Batman 12 behind the scenes facts. While Batman would become the hero that Hollywood needed to believe it or not he was but not the one it wanted years ago. It was not my until Michael Keaton put on the cap and call in the title role of what would become the highest grossing film of 1989 when he truly became comic book movies golden goose. However, some behind the scenes facts revealed that the actor's enduring legacy as the Bruce Wayne was almost tarnished before it even began. Even following Christine Bell and Ben Affleck well regarded performances and anticipation for how Robert Pattinson will play the role. Michael Keaton remains one of the more beloved actors to don the bad suit and it's even set to reprise the role alongside Bad Flag in the upcoming Solo Flash movie. If you think that sounds crazy, you should hear about some of the events that took place before during the event after the making of 1989's Batman. Broaden your mind with the following 12 bits of Batty trivia. Let's see facts. Fact number one, neither Tim Burton nor Michael Keaton had much prior Batman comic book experience. While it is particularly as rule these days for a superhero movie to be helmed by a fan, that was certainly not the case in one. Tim Burton was trapped to make the 1989 Batman having only loved one comic book in his life. Fact number two, costing Michael Keaton ignited energy backlash among Batman fans. Ben Affleck and Robert Peterson respectively are not the first actor to experience premature public outcry for the being cast as Batman. Fact number 3. Bill Murray was once considered to play Batman. There is a dizzying list of actors once considered to play the Dark Knight, the most surprisingly probably being Bill Murray. Yes, that Bill Murray. Fact number 4. Early Batman script drafts included Robin. As an original storyboard sequences tweeted out by Mark Hamill in 2019 revealed Sam Ham Batman screenplay initially introduced of the gap crosser young sidekick in which free Robin Dick Grayson would assist Batman in following the Jacker's plan at the conclusion. Fact number 5 Adam West later expressed disappointment of not being asked to reprise Batman. We might have seen the 1960s. Robin Bird Ward back in the old red and green had his Batman Adam West received his wish to play the character again in Tim Burton's film. Fact number 6 Michael Pfeiffer was briefly considered to play Vicky Will. Speaking of before, the role of photographer and Bruce Wayne love interest Vicky Will ultimately went Kim Basinger, Michael Pfeiffer was thought of. Fact number 7 William was approached to play the Choker. In another case of almost costing, Robin Williams wanted to be Batman Joker, but a report by fans cited which sides brains current comic book legends revealed as a reference reveals a disappointing twist to the sad story. Fact number 8 Jack Nicholson Joker makeup went through a few complications. I can only imagine how Robin Williams might have dealt with all the makeup involved to play the Joker as a feature included on the 2005 edition DVD release of Batman Shades Light On. Fact number 9. Mitchell Keaton was unable to hear in his full Batman costume. Despite all the crap Jack Nicholson and thought the real joke was on Michael Keaton who bad suit was more uncomfortable and problematic than you would imagine. Fact number 10. 20 minutes of footage was stolen from the Batman set. The only thing more famous about 1989's Batman other than Wall Batman are the numerous problems that befell the production. Fact number 11 Tim Burton was initially disappointed by his first Batman movie. Despite the critical and commercial success, Batman was not without its critics, a hard check of which at the time was its own director. Fact number 12, Tim Burton was also not a fan of Prince Batman's soundtrack. While Danny Elfman rousing score fits perfectly with the scope of Gotham City, the idea of even someone as talented. What do you think? Would you tell your friends about this list of trivia or do you feel we could have turned more to explain how Batman got his wonderful toys? Let us know in the comments and be sure to check back for additional information and updates on the Tim Burton comic book flicks as well as even more behind the scenes look at some of your favorite movies and TV shows here, movies on screen. Our goal to introduce you every Hollywood movie and English TV series. 
We express your opinion in comments below and let us know how you like our videos. If you have liked our video then press the below like button and encourage us. Thanks for watching.